Not, 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 not something, Bill. A lot of somethings. Each board game has an item we have to win from her. Some of them, we have to win multiple items from her. That's not a joke, by the way. Some of them is multiple items. So this is a game we should probably be taking our time in. Oh, no, no. The, the one item that we have to win multiple times is just the... Uh... Hmm. Oh, wait, did you reply yet to my post? I don't know. I have not. Besides the fact, I just more or less made it awkward. Yes, your character did in fact make it awkward. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's a it's an annoying puzzle is what I'm saying for the door. In other news, though, I figured out what I need to do to get on the laptop. You have to play a game of the Mayan game from Scarlet Hand, and once you do that, you get you get access to the laptop because she gives you the password. You have to actually ask her about something. When you ask her about something, she says, "Oh, I know this," and then you have to agree to play. The, oh, scratch marks like something was trying to get into my room. Man, this turret is deadly. Sort of god, I think I've probably killed more people with this turret than with my damn sniper rifle. Yep, I mean, I know the feeling. Okay, well, it's time to go do the next thing. So... Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, I know something I can do as well that's at... So let's go to 11 o'clock. Uh, are you playing a game? <laughs> Technically, yes. I'm not really looking for you for commentary at the moment. Though your concern is noted. Ugh. <sighs> It's like cutting ants on a magnifying glass. Well, that wasn't was creepy that? and ominous at all. What? I'm playing a droid. That's programmed to kill things. Hmm. I wonder if these are what made those red eyes I saw outside the night I arrived. Someone has night vision goggles that glow red. Yeah, that's right. What's making the wolf eyes? Yeah, it is. It's just that that just happened. I guess it's a thing if you're outside of your room after a certain time period, after you've solved enough clues, that can happen. But still, it kind of threw me for. Nope, a they finally took me out. They finally took me out, Sam. <laughs> nice. After I probably killed how many people with that damn turret? I think I've killed probably almost about 200 people with that turret. We just fed the Venus flytrap turkey and now it's smiling. Pretty sure that's not how a Venus flytrap works. To be fair, it also was attacking us and moving, which is also not how it works. Any wife he takes must reside within the manor for six consecutive months after the first year merge. Should she fail to meet this requirement, half of the estate will pass to the next heir specifying the will of your brother. Alan, as you know, you are that heir. Harold T. Bottleby, senior partner. Okay, so we just found a paper that confirms the fact that 
um, the guy who hired us, his aunt knows about the fact that should um, his wife not stay inside the estate for a full six months. She can't she has to live on the estate for six months. If she does not, then she and he lose the ability to keep the room. So they have to live in this dismal place for six freaking months. Well, he, well, she has to, not him. That's annoying. Yeah. She can't go somewhere else for six months because that's the rules. I okay, hope so... more time would pass, but yay. Man, these turrets on Kashyyyk are very weird. Oh, you're on Kashyyyk? Oh yeah, the yeah, turrets on Kashyyyk are the weird saucer ones, aren't they? Oh no, they're not the saucers. Like, they're the ones that look like they're meant for... Like, they have, like, he <clears throat> heavy-looking turrets that basically act like artillery guns. And then they have, like, the rotary turrets that, uh... Basically act as, uh, sniper turrets, almost. You know, like when you fire a sniper rifle around. So who's ready to go in a ghost hunt? It's so weird. Remember, you mustn't waste any time. Our little chums won't stay visible for long. So, on your mark, get set, go! I think this is a way to shoot the wall down, if I remember. Got one. <laughs> Hold still, so I can kill you. So I can commit murder. Three down, ten to go. Tricky one, oh my. Uh. Who designed this? A mad person. I mean, Technically, you're right, but I hate that you're right. Oh, sweet! They gave me ammo. Man, you know you're a good sniper when you basically hit the guy operating a turret in the yep. pilot seat. Yes, you are. Or lucky. I don't know. I, I'm, I've been usually been pretty good at sniping in Battlefront. Well, I know. I'm just saying it's either you're good at sniping or you're very lucky at sniping. There's no in-between there. Yeah. 
I don't know, you guys ever watch it? You ever watch the Hitman's Bodyguard? Congratulations, you're one of the few people who have seen the 13 ghosts of Blackmoor Manor. As a reward, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Oh, fuck, I'm out of ammo. But a word to the wise, if you're wearing a hat, hang on to it, have fun! To the left of the green dragon, pull below the vase and hold on to your hat if you have one. Do you have a hat? Pay no attention to the bird behind the curtain. That's a giant slide. Oh, that is a oh, giant slide. Oh shit, they gave me the uh... Shit, Sam, they gave me the special sniper rifle that sucks if I remember. Whee! <laughs> yeah, they gave me the suck. sucky. Because it's like it's a, it turns into a mid range rifle and you can't aim it worth for fucking shit. Like it, it has a really horrible hit detection on it. Oh yeah, isn't this game hit scan the battle the first Battlefront games? That was the second game. I'm saying one and two oh, no, I think, aren't they hit scan? Hit scan. Yeah, hit scan. I.e. The hell? Hitting... I think I need that... a ball or something. Okay, that that's weird. No, come okay, come on. What the hell is hit scan? You can't just Hit scan is where it's based on where your cursor is pointed at that moment if you hit. So if the person isn't in range when you do a hit scan shot, i.e. if your cursor isn't directly on them, your attack misses. Even if they move into range when a n bullet should normally hit, you know. Um, Team Fortress 2 uh, uses hit scan for everything but the Pyro's flames and the soldier's rocket launcher. It's why you can basically load on the heavy and use them like a sniper in a lot of instances. <laughs> Yeah, for example, basically, hit scan is it immediately pings the direction, and if there's anything in the line of direction of where the bullet would be going, it hits that thing. So, if an enemy's head's there, you headshot them. Get it, Bill? Hit scan. That seems to be that seems to be standard from any other shooter. Well, a lot of shooters have bullet travel. Actually, bullets meaning you can miss <laughs> if you're far enough away. Ah, shit, I lost my... Lost my sweet bride. If I want to look around in I there, I'm going Django to Fett. Why not? Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, there's only ten of them left now. I think wow. this is the hard... I think probably playing as a Republic is the hardest ma Has the most, uh, disadvantage. Well, that makes sense. Reaver Jordicas kind of suck. What's that? Jordicas kind of suck for if you're playing against the uh, Confederacy, the Confederates. I don't know. I always find them too clunky to drive around, though. Well, they're also clunky, but as I was saying, uh, they also suffer from the fact that they're cool. There are symbols in that mural that I couldn't see before. Yes. Okay. Good. More clues. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's try cinematic battles. Or movie battles. I haven't done that in a while. That's a good one because it does a lot of interesting things. Well, the fact that basically, like, all the other units are basically viable options to play. Which is also nice. Like, the, uh. Soldier, yeah, they might not be the most, um. They are the more likely to die, but on the other hand, no. 
it's it is poss it is even out by the fact that basically they can spawn more times than uh, the other units. Oh yeah, very true. Very very true. So you know you can constantly be the guy who takes the hit. So I think Nancy's learned from her previous mistakes and now puts things back where she found them. Hmm. Which mistake from what now? Well, the older, the last two games, she didn't put things back where she found them, which was what gave the enemies really to find out what was going on. Uh -huh. I don't know. Nightmare oh, child. So, did you find? I was just find it amusing though, playing as a clone tr or playing the uh, arc trooper and just basically going around, um, I don't want to hear. Matrix style. It's so scary to think people can be looking on the walls. They just get the bouncy pistols or the pistols that basically the bounce either. everywhere. If you do, they'll probably close them off and say Have you ever seen these before? No. What are they? I the fact that they've they literally just me. modded every, like, back from different parts of the I've movies I thought was pretty cool. My life. Do you have a flashlight? <laughs> a flashlight? Wish we get some more who to play with me, though. Flashlight is an American term. In the UK, we call it a torch. I don't have one, but I do have a whole bunch of glow sticks. If you want one, you have to play a game with me. That's the rule. On your mark, get set. Yeah, I think the more yeah. funnier thing, though, is just having basically the, um... Is just basically trying to basically ski with the uh, Mando's jetpack. I gotta find that amusing. This... This is hell. You're welcome. Bill... Hell. I'm in hell. <clears throat> Who is the dumbest person you've ever met? I can't say that. They're in the call. Ah, <laughs> hey. hey. oh, fuck you. I never said which one of you it was. <laughs> now, now the true competition begins! Who of you is dumber?! Fight! Um, <laughs> gun control doesn't work. Okay, elites off to a rousing sorry. lead. Uh, global warming doesn't exist. They're okay. turning the freaking frogs gay. No, but the juice boxes. <coughs> Bill, elite turned his frog gay. No, no, the government is. They're putting, putting chemicals in the water that turns the freaking frogs okay. gay. You know, I wonder at times if that guy's supposed to be serious, or if he usually is joking most of the times. It's hard to tell with, cons uh, with conspiracy theorists, because some of them are self-aware, and some of them aren't. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I should like get going. So, as conspiracy theorists myself, I know there's like there's multi layers when it comes to conspiracy theorists. There is just simple basic stuff like, um, like say, uh, what's what's a good basic uh, conspiracy Linda? theory? Um, Hil um like Hil uh, like Hi uh, Hillary wanted war. Which, or rather, she wanted war, but her defense contractors that are paying her wanted war. And that basically ties into the fact that she wanted no fly zone with Syria, and everybody else was saying that would cause a war with Russia. And she kept saying she wanted no fly zone with Syria. That's a really basic conspiracy theory, and that is a believable. The ones that aren't believable are turning the frogs gay. Um,. Bush did 9-11, etc, etc. The Prince was Jack the Ripper, considering he was in a mental institution because he was suffering from the 
the crazy that comes from syphilis. Well, it's an interesting theory. It holds no weight. Doesn't look like a curse. All right, I'm back. Where are you going? He's talking about again. Barber and a picture of a parrot. I wonder if Lulu has something to do with Ugh. this. Oh, good. I learned uh, something, Bill. What's that? So I went into the creepy secret passageway. And it turns out I need to go talk to the parrot. Because the parrot knows the password. I don't know, do they have an Nancy Drew one yet with basically creepy clowns? So I feel like I have to usually ask the question like Doug, why is everybody scared of the clouds? They're supposed to be funny. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why people are scared of clowns. I blame. Hello. Does the word, Does the word barber? barber mean anything to you? Watch the magic word. I don't know. I have no idea. All I know is I just remember that's what I think um, Doug did in one of his earlier nostalgic credit reviews. Is going, it's like he's not scary. He's funny. For the um, for the first interpretation of it, our movie adaptation. Okay, I guess I'll go try to figure out what the magic word is. <laughs> that parrot feels like it wants to die, or I think it wants to die. Parrot Lummy. That's a game over. <laughs> We're not killing a parrot, Bill. We're not. We're Why not, did he even make it an option? Why is there salami in a cake? Because it's a type of mealworm cake that you feed to the parrot with berries and. Yes. In it. But why is there meat for a bird? Lilo's magic word. Magic word. Oh yes. You see, my brother and is, is, this, would is there some kind of secret message from the game saying that meat kills things if played. they eat it? But they'd I remember in the fish hours. game, it's like if you um, are in the uh, trouble in something island, the um, if you eat the um, ham, oh, what <laughs> that gives you a, that makes you sick. It's perched on the tip of my tongue. Oh, they had to tell Lulu that she was a very, very clever and beautiful bird. <laughs> Oh, so did you show, um, um, no, Letha the not. boar part? Jane ruined no. All of us with some sort of <laughs> no, I did I, I heard but about I that, but I was like, no, no, I don't want to look at that. For <sighs> but it's Nancy Drew, who's cute. Goodbye. Run along. But it's a plant. Tentacles. <laughs> oh, wait, tentacles are Bill's thing, right. Tentacles <laughs> are my thing as well, but... I don't like Her plants. I, I, Apparently I just... he likes his war to be fleshy instead of planty. <laughs> so Bill likes his to be planty, not fleshy. Yeah. No, I was saying Elite likes to have his fleshy it instead of planty. Working. <laughs> okay, that that's good. So what? the card dealing robot I think broke I think I broke the card dealing way to robot. go way to go I don't actually think I broke it I think the game it was part of the story you broke it yes yeah it looks like I'm behind a couple of updates so this might take home, some time but it's broken it's not broken I removed its crank as it was proving to be too much of a distraction for Jane 
I suppose I could see where it's gone to. That but guy's playing Battlefront. This guy's playing Battlefront. Me, would you? Sure. This Do guy's playing Battlefront. Oh, wait. Of plants That's the movie. There. They're my prize seedlings. I had them perfectly arranged in that box so I could easily move them about to catch the light. Mm. Unfortunately, Jane took all of them out when I wasn't looking. Uh, wait, so what are you doing here? I'm going to put them back in the box so that they are fit. My Why don't you give it a try while I see about that crank? If we both succeed, we should be happy. I've just seen people just make... You catch my they're like, it well, looks good. I was like, oh, the head. The, the head just seems to be an issue for a lot of people. For some reason. The head for what now? Headshot. Area morphs. Oh. Well, because some people don't know if they want to... How pointy they want to make it. A what a morph? Plain people. Oh. We, need, we really need to talk about your, um, interests. Oh, God. Can I rotate these? No, I cannot. Okay, that makes this a lot easier and harder. I guess I should probably get back to Divinity 2 at some point. Yeah, I'm kind of lost where I'm supposed to go in direction right now. I wish I had my birdie here. Birdie would help. Ah, uh, they're working. Play I haven't played Pax Path of Exile in a while. I wonder if anything's changed. Oh, wait, I think I... Which basically, I figure the best way to summarize the game is more or less the founding of Australia, the game. We're like, okay, you actually did good. <laughs> okay, maybe it's this guy. Mm hmm, that's annoying. Well, I'm pretty sure I figured it out, but the game is very annoying about how exactly it is on pixels, Bill. Ooh, that, that, that's annoying. Ooh. Okay, let's see. That is the most... Okay, that. This is the... Okay, yeah, just, just screw that. Screw it right now. It is so exacting on its pixels that it is absolutely infuriating if you get one, just one pixel off. Okay, um, here's what I'm saying, like, this one is, uh, oh, non-save work, non-save work, no, here we go. Don't, 
I just... That head is... What? Hello! I know the magic word. Magic word, magic word! What's the magic word? Lulu is a very, very clever and beautiful bird. Ah, clever and beautiful! How true, how true! Clever and beautiful! Ah. Easy, oh shit, it's muted. My ears. So, what's your word? Barber. Bleach. Bleach, 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 bleach. Bye, bird. Ali, bye bye. Hello. How about a hint? Lulu hungry. Lulu want cake first. Yeah, yeah, I know the drill. Does anybody still have Path of Exile? Uh, I don't know. Ugh. <sighs> Also, wow, it makes me do the dragon thing every time, doesn't it? Okay. I think no one else really enjoys that game. Not really. Hmm. I really need to get back in contact with Seabass at some point. Seabass? Yeah, he's a friend of mine. I used to work with. Fair enough. I've seen Is him he play an actual this game. fish. No, no, no. It's just, it's just a nickname. And oh, that's a lot of zombies. Holy fuck, that's a lot of zombies. Okay, I was hoping uh, that he's an actual fish. That would make it interesting. Ah, uh, he's a German. Well, his parents were, or his mother was German, and his father, I think, was like a Metis or something. So kind of a bit of a. Interesting fellow. Okay. What? Okay, so that's just a boomerang attack. Um. Okay, swing. Um, fire totem. <clears throat> I think the one thing I like about this game is just how much things are customizable. Yeah, I can appreciate that. Okay, so this is, I think, yeah, Molten Strike, right click is some kind of heavy attack. Yeah, heavy strike, okay. And then Q just throws a boomerang. Of course, if I remember though, I think everything's RNG. Mm. Fun. Or like the map is basically randomly generated. I'm going to bake another cake for Lulu, if that's okay. Help yourself. Whoa, fuck. That is not nice. Okay. So they need... Beans? One of beans, one of mealworms. Two things of blueberries. I think they can t uh, technically have salsa, but I don't want to do that just in safe. Man, I'm gonna have to make a new character just to remember everything. I mean, that's how it goes with old games. When you don't play them for a while. That cake looks absolutely appetizing. It's full of mealworms, blueberries, and graham crackers. Okay, so. Nope. Hello! Lulu want a yummy cake? Cake! Lulu want cake! Let's see, I'm getting a lot of mileage out of that one boomerang attack. Does the word picture mean anything to you? You risk my character just throws their um you? picture book. Picture book. Copy of their melee weapon. Any hint as to what the deal is with Crude a bullseye ball. I passed when I went down that slide? Cricket has the ball. Cricket has the ball. Ready? Aim. Fire. Bye, bird. Bob's your uncle. You're gonna oh. need a bigger bolt.
Oh fuck, that's a lot of them. Hi, Nancy. I should get going. Come back soon. I hate you, small child that looks of the devil. So here we got a glass shank. Okay, we can't carry a glass shank. Okay. Don't fucking don't think I don't notice you, game, with your fucking blinking eye bullshit in the top <laughs> corner. He's going cray cray. The fucking game has it whenever you leave the little girl's room, the one of the gargoyles on the wall blinks its eyes at you. I don't know. I just, I keep noticing and I'm like, what? See, oh. terror shield. Yeah, maybe grabbing that sh glass shank might be a good idea. Oh yeah, I do have sword and board. Oh yeah, that's right. Every certain item you have has a certain uh, enchantment you can throw into the... Obnoxious. I have no idea where I'm going, Sam. Hello. Oh, very, very clever and beautiful bird. What's up with the word baby? Bonnet. Baby bonnet, yeah, baby, baby bonnet. Bye, bird. Bye, bird. And then I have to redo the dragon puzzle because every time you leave the basement, you have to redo the dragon puzzle to re enter the basement. Oh, shit, so I do have a sweep attack. That's nice to know. Let's see, have I gone in uh, maps? How do I navigate through this game again? <laughs> Of course, that's the one thing you kind of forget, though, is the maps are ra randomly generated. <laughs> oh. Oh. So I found the padding section of this game, Bill. Remember our danger in the clams? Yep. So this is go up the stairs to ask Lulu what this word means. Go down the stairs to ask Lulu what the word means. Or rather, go input the word. In a slide puzzle. <gasps> Jesus! You, you gave me such a fright! <laughs> what were you doing in there? Jesus in the fucking Christ! The fucking tutor is just standing outside her, and she's a nightmarish abomination! <coughs> it actually startled me. I was looking at the artifacts. They're quite intriguing. Oh. I see. Well, I didn't realize you were so interested in the treasures of Blackmore. Do you think there is treasure hidden somewhere in the manor? <laughs> no, not at all. At least, not the treasure you're probably thinking of. The Penvalens have lived here for centuries. The house resonates with their presence. Any hidden treasure in Blackmore would be found in the family's history. In the Penvalen's passions and deeds. 
Have you seen the book in Jane's room called the Mutus Liber? Yeah. Yes, the silent book. It's quite fascinating and very old. Okay. Jane's grandfather left it with me to give to her. Um. It almost seems as if it's telling some kind of story. Yes, but a long lost story whose meaning will probably never be understood. What you're teaching Jane looks pretty rigorous, but interesting. I believe young people need to have a well-rounded education and learn what every other Penvalin should know. Have you ever heard the legend about the Beast of Blackmoor? Of course. Everyone who grows up in these parts knows it. But it's just a myth. One that unfortunately proved to be quite damaging to the Penvalins. Damaging to the Penvalins? Well, yes. Eleanor Penvalin was executed because the villagers believed that she had created the beast. Things cannot get much more damaging than that. That was several hundred years ago. Do you know much about the Penvalin family history? Only that they were a very well respected and talented family. Many of my ancestors were tutors of some of the Penvalins, and I feel very honored to continue that tradition. Well, I won't keep you any longer. Goodbye, Nancy. Nightmare. You're such a very, very clever and beautiful bird. I'll bet the word hour means something to you. Cake first, little hungry. Cake first, cake first. Yeah, yeah, I know the drill. And the winner is Lulu. Good. Good, I gotta go feed the parrot again. Ma! <laughs> This is the third time I've had to make a cake for I'm that going thing to bake for... another cake for Lulu, if that's okay. Go right ahead. Okay. Nuts. A second batch of blueberries. Two batches of mealworms in this cake. I'm going all out for Lulu. And two bunches of crackers. It's an 80 plus year old parrot. If we feed it anything, it's going to die, basically. It's too old to be given chocolate, and they already can't handle chocolate and things. But we can test killing it later. But I'm really not going to kill it right now when I'm on a roll and I want to just get these. I want to get through the padding section first, basically. Lulu want a yummy cake? Cake! Lulu want cake! It, it plays the cutscene of her eating cake every time, Good. by the way. So tell me what the word hour means to you. Glass! Hour! Glass! Bye, Good. bird. <laughs> Ugh. And back to the dragon puzzle. I don't know. I think this is the only time I've ever really found a puzzle that's I find just annoying because it's a puzzle you just gotta endlessly repeat. I'm like, no. I I appreciate that you want me to have to remember it and not just guess it but at the same time reward a player Well, back up the staircase again. Also, I know for a fact the glow stick can run out. Because it's the... Which means then you have to redo the video game thing with the girl. <laughs> padding, 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 padding. Padding, padding. Hello! 
If I said ant to the very, very clever and beautiful bird, it would say... Ew! Lulu would say ant, ew! Bye, bird. Bob's your uncle. And up. Uh, I wish there was somebody to play this with. <laughs> I know you're feeling, Bill. That's how I felt when I tried to get people for the Borderlands 1 Let's Play. But it was worth it. Uh-oh. <sighs> Looks like it's time for another glow stick. The other thing, though, if I remember, though, is the further you go along, you can also the characters. Good. The glow stick wore out halfway down the staircase. So I have to go get a new one. You get multiple. Well, once they wear out, you have to go Nancy? do. Nancy, could I get another glow stick? Yes, but you know the rule. First, we have to play another game. In... On your mark, get set, go. Bill, I want to tell you something though. Guess which game it is. For what? The glow stick? Yeah, for the glow stick. Guess which it is. I think it was the mine corn one you said. No, that would make it, you know, fun. It's the petroglyph one from Shadow Ranch, the one that we never got to play because we don't own that one. I and guess what? It's bullshit. Yeah, sounds like our luck. Yeah. It's the I only one of the counts. games that I think is uh, actively fucking annoying. Oh, good. Hey, hey, Bill, I found a Canadian one for you. Boy, what now? What, plane? Hang on. God fucking damn it, Elite. No <laughs> food is in the fucking not safe for work section. I mean, you didn't say no food, it's Bill. Hang on. Bill, you can't retroactively add rules just because you don't like something. Wait, wait. Or You're not the American the... government, Bill. Oh, fuck. Well, I'm getting attacked at anyway, so you're lucky. Oh. Please let me finish this. Let's see, I think these guys give me loot. You're so very good. Ta-da! I should get going. Toodles! Okay. So, yeah. I got oh, another minute. Good. So, yeah, once we get the glow stick, we then... Oh, fuck. I just realized something. Bill, I used the glow stick. I got halfway down, which means I said to redo the dragon puzzle because the dragon puzzle resets every time you leave. Oops. Yep. The clam thing was obnoxious. This is just insulting. Of course, this is very much a Deponia thing to do. It's Schadenfreude. Take from others suffering. I should guess we could take the medium out of flask in here. I accidentally clicked on the I rather than the B. There we go. the door finally unlock? <gasps> it finally unlocked! It looks like the rest of this grid is on the other side of the wall. <laughs> so you're the only one that doesn't change. Yeah. 
you flip that one. You don't flip anything. We've accomplished something. I feel proud. I hate myself, but I'm proud. You're gonna need a bigger boat. The bird just told me I'm gonna need a bigger boat. Now they're making jaw references. It says that several times, actually. It Hello, says, Nancy. What do you think of Ethel Bosney? I think she's an odd lot, that one. She has no formal background in pedagogy or scholarship. I would be a much better influence on Jane were I her tutor, but Mrs. Drake insists on employing Ethel. I'll let you get back to your work. Tally-ho! Fascinating piece, isn't it? James Penvelin sculpted it in 1591, Although, it appears that wand was added at a later date. He was quite a flamboyant figure and never married. But, one day, a child appeared <coughs> quite mysteriously in the castle, and he took her in as his own. That was Eleanor, and many of the town folk believed her to be a changeling, or fairy baby. Hello, Nancy. I'll let you get back to your work. Tally ho! Oh, okay. gonna go check what elite posted because I'm gonna take a break and end this part of the drew thing soon I'm just gonna go talk to Linda please have her something to say to me please just anything would be preferable to nothing guess she's not in her room no. birdie someone that actually understands one. birdie suffering pain hi birdie Linda, I found the secret passageway. Jane told me where it is, but I didn't see any curse in there. How could you have missed it? It was right there, just waiting to be found, wanting to be found. I can't believe how foolish I was, that stupid gargoyle. I hated how its evil eyes would stare at me whenever I walked to my room. So I moved it around, changed its position, kept fiddling with it. But when that secret door suddenly opened, I couldn't resist going in there. Which gargoyle is this? What do you mean, which gargoyle? I thought you said you found the secret passageway. So there's more than one. Linda, I think someone's trying to scare you off. I think they thought you were getting too close to something that's hidden in this house. You're right. I did get too close to something. Okay, well, that's that an witch, interesting that um, that was burned at the stake. variation she's of scene. Me, um, she's probably cursed so you too. there's Please this um, North Korean jet girl that has a kill count on her ball. And I, uh, just, uh, just... I killed thing in their quotes, of course. Okay, uh, one, post that. Two, say nothing more. Three. I bet that's the gargoyle Linda was talking about. 
And it looks just like the one in that painting I saw. There's gotta be an easier way to figure this out. Why are you people posting this shit? Because we're messed up horrible and horrible people. Something tells me I better not mess with yeah, this. Yeah, people are disturbed with what doing. I was putting in the uh, Star Wars chat. Birdie? Huh? Birdie, are you a sensible individual? Can you help me? I've been trying to be a sensible individual. Yes. Yay, Birdie is best. Birdie is best girl. Birdie gets head pats. I don't know, I'm just trying to make him actually use his head. I know how he got him! It's just that I keep <laughs> on forgetting which to do for the... Birdie? Birdie? Mm -hmm. Slide puzzle. There's a slide puzzle in this. It has 34 steps to it. Help. Oh, fun. I need the key. Oh, fuck, that's the wrong key. I have two different keys in my inventory. I need to repeatedly solve a dragon puzzle every time I want to go to the basement. I link the I link the thing. It's slider puzzle or whatever it is. It's it's pretty. You'll see it pretty easily. It's the one that has thirty four steps. Actually, mm. there's sub steps to each of the thirty four. I know how to do it, Phil. This I, you, a guide still just helps because then you don't go. I hate myself. I think the worst part is that the pictures that with the guide are gone. So that the only one that's going to be a real nightmare is solving the gosh dang plants in a box. Because I need that. Because they train us by having us play Go Fish with the daughter. And then we have to play Go Fish with a robot. Mm. Miles the Magnificent Memory Machine! He's back, Birdie! Is he? No. It's Ta -da! just it's just a robot that plays go fish with you. Yeah, I, I remember Miles the Magnificent Machine. Yeah, this one isn't Miles. It's just some random automaton that plays go fish with you. I know the first three steps of this by heart, and then I and then I'm just kind of like, okay. Uh... Oh, Birdie's waking up. I'm just going to wait for Birdie to pull that up in the meantime. Just let audience soak in that. Look at this, audience. This is the slide puzzle. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Yes. I want you to despair, audience. I want you to know this exists. Mm -hmm. Some man hates you. You have no mouth and you must scream. No, I have a mouth. Oh dear. Yeah, if you want to play a point-and-click adventure that basically hates you, there's one to try. <laughs> what? I have no mouth, but I must scream. That one's actually surprisingly easy. It's just that canonically, the uh, former Nazi would never do what he does to get the good ending in the game. Mm -hmm. They made a good ending, but it would never happen, is basically what they pointed out. Pretty much. Which, I don't know which is worse, the fact that they actually programmed it in despite the creator saying, no, don't put it in. Or the fact that after they put it in, it's like, yeah, but it still doesn't really fit. And I'm like, bitch, then don't put it in! It's easy as that! Look at me, I didn't put it in! Congratulations, me! I'm so smart, me! Ah, uh, cause then again, like, the actual book itself basically has a pretty much grim ending. It's a novella. Because it's so short. Actually, I think it's even not even a novella, I think it's a short story. Well, the actual ending is, yeah, basically, they... Most of them die because they find the food they were promised, it turns out that the food is sealed in cans and they don't have a can opener. Yep. Which actually, it's funny. I think it's referenced in the game. Yeah, it is. Actually, the best part about that, though, is the fact that... Uh, not only is it referenced in the game, but the... Thing is, what happens in the actual novella is one of the characters kills the others at that point because it frees them from the burden. 
because murder. Okay. I think I found it. Yeah. Technically, like, I want to point out that some of the stuff that's day one stuff, I didn't do until um, a bit ago. So, yeah. You ready? Yes. Moon, sun, hands up, right, down to join the angel. Oh, excuse me. Yep. They're all over there with the angel. Atlas, left, down. Okay. Father Time, left, up, right. Okay. Glasses, left, down. Okay. Jester. Jester and Angel, left, up, right, to join Father Time. Okay. Glasses. Atlas. Up. Okay. Moon. Down. Left. Down. In place. Okay. Atlas. Down. Okay. Uh, geometer. Up. Okay. Geometer's up. Night. Up. Left. Up. Okay. Uh, geometer and the sun down. Okay. Hand right down left. Okay. Father time right only. Okay. Sun up. Okay. Geometer up left. Okay. Uh, sun down. Sun down. Okay. Father time down. Okay. Jester angel right down to father time. Okay. What do you want? Okay. So jester and angel right then down. Yep. Okay. Jester left. Okay. Father Time, up, left. Okay. Angel, down. Okay, that makes sense. Glass, knight, hand, geometer, jester, and Father Time, connect to top of angel. So glasses, knight, hands. No, glass. glass. Well, and it probably is glasses. Probably looking at this wrong. I need to double check. They're, they're, they're cups, technically. Yeah. So glass. So cups over on top of angel. Then what? Uh. Glasses knight left. Okay. So glasses over and then knight on top of angel. Hand down only. Okay, so, okay, okay, let's go back a step to when I'm moving the glasses and the knight. So I move glasses uh, right, then down to be on top of the angel, correct? The glass, knight, hand, uh, geometer, jester, and father time uh, connect to the top of the angel. Okay, so everything including father time. Yep. Okay, so that's a... That, there we go. So they all go over there. Okay. Okay, so... And then once they're all on top of the angel, the glasses then go to the left, correct? The glass and the knight go left. Okay. Glasses and knight are now left. Okay. The hand goes down. Okay, hand goes down. The geometer goes right then down. Okay. The hand goes left. Okay. 
The angel goes up, then left. Okay. Geometer goes down. Okay. Angel goes right. Okay. Jester time down on top of angel. Okay. Angel left. Okay. Geometer up and left. Okay. Jester down. Jester down, father time down. Yeah, that was that was a nightmare. Thank you, Bertie. You're welcome. I'm gonna go back to bed now. I still have work. Okay, you get some sleepies. Okay, you need sleepies. Night night. Night night. Nighty night. Easier way to figure this out. Hi, Nancy. Which Pendleton had his portrait painted with a gargoyle? Don't really know. I should get going. Au revoir. You are useless, child. That, that was mostly just to make my life easier. Okay. I can do the plant thing by myself. I'm just so thankful for you that because otherwise I was going to go insane. Hello, Nancy. Who is the man in the Great Hall with a gargoyle? You're going insane? That's nah. Corbin Pendleton, born in 1670 and died in 1741, I believe. He was Eleanor's grandson and spent his life in France. It was rumored that he secretly returned to Blackmore to continue his grandmother's experiments in the mystical arts. Where can I find his coat of arms? I didn't realize you were so interested in Penvalin history. I'd be happy to show you his coat of arms, but I'm in dire need of a typist. Perhaps, if you can help me out, I can find that which you see. <laughs> it's hey, a deal. What do you want me to do? Perhaps Bill. first we should see how fast you type. This program will rate your speed. Just type the characters that appear on the screen. If you're good enough, I'll let you type up my memoirs, and then I'll let you see the coat of arms. We need to do the typing video game now. Have fun with that. We need to have, I don't know how many words per minute, but I'm just going to do what I did last time. I just want to just imagine him looking at Nancy going, fuck, she figured out my game. She knows my eyes. Great. You know what I hate about sometimes about these isometric games when it comes to loot? What? They never give you enough pockets to carry shit. I got 58 <laughs> words per minute, Bill. Excellent score. Now, here's what I'd like you to type up. Mm -hmm. These are my memoirs. I think you'll find them quite interesting. These are the most boring memoirs I've ever read in my life. Phew, done. Finally. I feel like I've been typing forever. Nigel! Nigel!
no key without toil, no fire without oil, no key without toil, no fire without oil, no key without toil, no fire without oil, no key without What are they doing? without oil. Uh, oh yeah, my actions ensure that my name will endure. What the fuck? Oh, that's... This is... That was a little creepy. I did it perfect that time, didn't I? Well, almost perfect. You did very well. But remember, this must remain a secret. Do not discuss it with anyone. Yes, Ethel. And don't forget, you have a math exam tomorrow. Yes, Ethel. And be sure to brush your teeth. Yes, Ethel. Good night. I... <sighs> right. There's Satan worshippers in other news, Bill. Pay no attention to the bird behind the curtain. The time has come for closing books. Huh. Wow. Felicity! The door! The door! I don't want to put up the clothes, okay. Polly is a stupid bird! Polly is a stupid bird! Pay no attention to the bird behind the curtain. <laughs> Smells like oil. A piece is missing. I got things to check mark off. I'm finished with that. Check. I'm finished with that. I'm finished with that. Done. Check. I'm finished with that. That's done. I'm finished with that. with that. 
Check. That's done. That's done. Check. That's done. Check. I'm finished with that. I'm finished with that. I'm finished with that. Check. That's done. Check. I'm finished with that. I haven't done that yet. Can't check that off till it's done. My pain and suffering is at a minimum now. I'm happy. As for your reward for helping me, Bill, you shall die last. Hmm. I think it's a good reward, don't you? Sounds terrible. She's probably sleeping. Okay. I need something else for this. Oh, it's 3.30 a.m. That explains why everyone's asleep. We can actually rotate the plants, okay. Ooh. Ooh. That adds a whole nother dynamic. Just set all the plants back. Tackle this in a bit. Sure you want to replace the key? Yes. Your game has been saved. <laughs> <laughs> 